Well, Dr. Stepovich, uh, we know you're an orthodontist in, um, in, in San Jose, California, up there, but uh, l- let me ask you something. Uh, we know that moms should bring their children to a dentist uh, literally before they even have teeth sometimes to just get used to the dentist, to just kind of like get the feeling of the dentistry isn't such an ugly, bad thing. Uh, and, uh, and I'm sure you agree with that or, or, or not, do you? I, I do. I, I certainly do. And I, and I think one of the nicest things that happens in my practice is that when I treat adults, they bring their children with them and they see, and their young children sometimes, and uh, the uh, the children get to see their parents being treated with no uh, with no distress at all, and we're talking, and I'm doing things, and they're opening their mouth, and and I'm giving them instructions and things of that sort. And the I've had uh, little patients sit down in an empty chair and and want me to examine them, want me sure. to look in their mouth. Sure. So, sure. so we do make good patients by seeing the, their parents or their sisters or brothers or even relatives uh, just by coming coming in and seeing what we do. And uh, because orthodontics can, it should be very pleasant for the patient and and the doctor and the staff. Right. Okay. So now. Uh, you know, to my to one of my main questions. So, 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 and I'm glad you elaborated on um, on on this. That this is really good for the children. Now, when should, however, a mom or a, a parent uh, be definitely saying it's time to really go to an orthodontist just to check of to make sure that your teeth are coming out straight, that that there is no problem, and that we can do the braces uh, if. We need some as fast as possible, or even maybe with a few, I don't know what that may be, um, uh, type of dental work, prevent braces, or at least prevent, uh, you know, heavy braces work. Is there such a thing of, like, when one should go and get checked? I, I always tell the moms, <laughs> mothers have a great intuition about what's going on and they want answers and if they feel like if they have a mother's intuition that that there's something going on with their children's teeth they shouldn't hesitate they should come in and see an orthodontist and or their general dentist and and normally the general dentist then will say go see the orthodontist because they'll know that there's something concerned I, I've never found a parent that's brought a child in that didn't have anything to do they they have some reason for coming in to see an orthodontist. In fact, I always ask the children uh, when there's a child or even an adult, I say, why are you coming to see an orthodontist? And they quickly give me a whole laundry list of things that they've been thinking about. And then we go from there. Such as? What's that laundry list, by the way? Well, they'll say, uh, you know, I I don't like... uh, uh, the position of these teeth. Look at my lower teeth. They, uh, I don't like to smile and show my lower teeth. And uh, I, uh, and then one has a big shadow. It makes a big shadow for me. And when I look in the mirror, I don't like what I see. And I'd like to have that taken care of. And I tell them, yes, I agree with you. And uh, we can take care of that and get these teeth to look like Hollywood teeth. Well, all right. Now. Let's assume, and, and it's wonderful to hear, it's really wonderful to hear that most moms or all moms, as you mentioned, may have said, uh, have an intuition that things are going on, and then the child himself has an intuition of what's going on. Um, but let's assume um, that intuition uh, uh, isn't there, and uh, uh, for some reason it looks like it's all fine and dandy. When should a mom, mom bring the child to the orthodontist um, to make sure that uh, things are fine? Uh, well, the American Association of Orthodontists recommends seven years old. Because do you agree with them, though? Never mind, I, what they, well, never, mind, never mind what they say. What do you say? I, I say that I've treated patients at three years old, and they have no permanent teeth at all. And we change things and so the child can develop in a more normal manner. And that, that is very re- rewarding to do that. 
but you rarely do get someone at three years old. So I recommend any time that there's any problem about the teeth, they should they should see you know if they can perceive that there's a problem. But I think uh, probably uh, no later than five years old, uh, I'd like to see all my family families who have younger children, and I'm treating the older ones. I, I ask them to bring them in by five years old. Okay, so I can take a look. And we may not do anything, but we may find something that really, really would help to take care of that so that the person can develop normally from that point on and not have this abnormal situation cause problems that make the treatment more more complicated. And Got it. And, and Got, it. Got it. So are you saying that the way the first teeth grow or not grow, uh, the way it they are positioned and maybe come out or not come out um, actually does influence uh, the growth of the permanent and second teeth. Yes, and uh, uh, there's a lot to that, uh, what you said there, because if a person has a crossbite, that means the back teeth are inside the upper teeth, if that's the situation, the arch... The, uh, the the space for the teeth is made smaller, and if and if you correct the crossbite, you make more room for the teeth and stop impacted teeth from becoming impacted. Uh, the most common tooth that gets impacted in the upper jaw is are the cuspids, and uh, the it is the the cuspids, the third third tooth back from the center. Oh, how's uh, the name, huh? Those teeth, they, uh, they, if they don't have enough room to come in, they grow towards the middle of the mouth and get trapped in back of the front front teeth. And then you need surgery to expose the teeth and put and have the oral surgeon uh, put a hook on the tooth so that so that I can then direct the tooth into the mouth. And that's a lengthy and uh, probably unnecessary treatment uh, if the person is seen early and the mouth is widened so that doesn't occur. Okay. So, so that is one of the reasons why a child should come even if the permanent teeth are not here yet. Correct. That's right. And at seven years old, you, you uh, in... in in girls, uh, they may have four permanent teeth, two in, I mean, four in the, in the upper and four in the lower, just the front teeth. They come in at that age. That's the normal time they come in. For boys, they come in at eight years old. So the girls are a little ahead of the boys, but still. We know that. I, we know I, that. We know that. Yeah. yeah, the girls are always ahead. <laughs> okay, good. Well, wonderful. All right. So, um, so it's about about seven years old. You have, however, three to three year olds. Um, so that they, because children, you know, whether they are in whatever kindergarten and they go to to preschool and they go to to, to school and and and, um, and uh, uh, you know six, seven, eight, five, and and and, uh, and nine. I, I, I sometimes we think that they are not self conscious and that it doesn't matter what they look like because they are not in the dating age yet and stuff. But the truth is probably that that's not true. Probably children are very self conscious about their smile and uh, and in fact, if they are self conscious and something is going wrong, it may stick with them. Uh, or they may never get rid of it anymore about that um, uh, self consciousness, right? That's. Uh... <laughs> That's an interesting uh, subject. I, you know, when I ask my patient, uh, why are you coming to see an orthodontist, and they don't answer me, I say, well, then is mom or dad bringing you in the in, in be, uh, because they feel something is needs to be done for your teeth? Uh, are you just being brought in here and you don't really want to be here? And they'll say, uh, that's right. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. And But they are not truthful. I don't feel in the majority of the cases because I will say to them, okay, uh, you're here, we're going to do the examination, I'm going to show you someone who has a condition like yours, and I'll show you what, how we took care of that and what the teeth 
ended up looking like after the treatment. And by that time, the patient is ready to start. I mean, they say, okay. <laughs> but I think they, they have some apprehension about uh, what is orthodontics entailing, and uh, they may have talked to a younger or a, a patient uh, who has had orthodontic treatment who likes to scare people, uh, you know, these youngsters. And they say, well, just wait till you get in the orthodontist there, and they do this or that. And they, they like to do that to each other. And uh, so I think some of that goes on. However, um, I think you're right that the patients have a feeling about themselves and the, and, and the way they smile. And uh, so that's one of the greatest age. things. Even at, even at very young age, because in fact it's, their chances are high that at 5, 6, 7, and 8, you get more hectic than at the age of 30. Nobody hectors anybody about his looks at the age of 30 anymore, but they do that at young age, right? Yes, that, you know, we have a lot of foreign people who are here, and they, their teeth are, are really, I'd like to treat them, but they don't want to be treated, but they want their children treated. And they uh, they just put up with all the spacing and missing teeth and crooked teeth. Uh, they just, and, but they're not interested in doing anything for themselves, and they're not, you know, introverted. They're outgoing and... Right. Well, that's, well, that's moms. I mean, my mom, uh, my my mom, uh, um, you know, and my dad, um, they, they for for they for forgo a lots of things and have forgone a lots of things just to take care of me. I mean, mom will make up, put up with back pain uh, till the help all hell breaks loose, but she'll bring the little kid for a tiny little scratch to the doctor because the kid shall not have a scar when he grows up or some such thing, whatever it might be. And, uh, well, that's just the goodness of people who uh, who just love to take much take care of the kids. They say, well, my life is what it is. I, I can live with it. And uh, But my kid, I want uh, I want the best. I want to put any roadblocks into my kid's life, you know? Yeah, mothers are terrific. And uh, although the dads don't get credit for some of that, but they make it possible to do all yeah. these things. Right. So, uh, so they're in there doing their part, but uh, definitely uh, mothers want their children to have the best. Right. And my point uh, starting this conversation, uh, you know, was about the children themselves are self-conscious. Uh, you know, I mean, look at those little pretty beautiful girls, I mean, like four years old, and they notice a spot on their dress, and they say, Mommy, I want you to change it. You see what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah that, that, that's right. And in today's world, with all the computer and videos and magazines and, and uh, these things that they look at, uh, and they're not... And their teeth are not, uh, you know, in, in, in they don't look like these people on in the on the magazines and on TV. They they are concerned about what's going on with them, and uh, they uh, really appreciate that orthodontics can take care of things for them. Well, thanks a lot, Doctor Stabowicz. That was uh, you know, it was good information. Um, and I, I hope that it is useful for the uh, patients out there, uh, you know, the moms. Uh, children are self-confident, and even though they lose their teeth, but, you know, that's two, three, or four years um, where you just don't want to put them to the grinder if something maybe can be done to straighten them out right there and then, and very importantly, to make sure that the second set of teeth comes in as good as possible um, it can be. That's why you should go to another dentist uh, soon, early. Bye-bye.